Good afternoon and welcome to the Lunchtime News Wrap. And we start the week with some good news coming from ESCOM. The first unit of the Madupi power station has been synchronized, making it the first of six to be part of the national grid. However, ESCOM says no time to celebrate just yet. Unit 6 has not actually started delivering electricity to South Africans. It was just that synchronized. And the hope is that it would come online within the next three months. By June, it should start delivering electricity to our households. Madupi or no Madupi, Gauteng MEC for Economic Development, Lebohang Maele, is very concerned about electricity supply. And he says his team is talking to Tswane and Joburg to get their power stations to work at optimum levels so that they can provide electricity stability to especially big businesses wanting to do business in Gauteng. Speaking of doing business in Gauteng, the Clearwater Shopping Center was on this Monday morning evacuated after they received a bomb threat. The police K-9 unit and the bomb squad were all on scene and they swept the shopping center. They found no bombs, but the people were sitting outside looking from the outside in. We've spoken to some stressed shoppers who said that they were on their way in or they were already there and that they couldn't believe that this happened on their home soil while they were trying to do their Monday morning shopping. And in the Western Cape, it's a Monday morning filled with smoke clouds. Firefighters there, more than a hundred of them are still battling the runway felt fire that started yesterday in the Musenberg area and through the night spread all over various suburbs. Five houses have been lost in the process with hundreds of people evacuated. Those included three old age complexes in the Musenberg area. One firefighter has so far been injured. It, they say that it can take up to two days to get everything back to normal. In the meantime, popular tourist routes like Chapman's Peak have been totally closed for traffic, with the fire now raging near the Chapman's Peak toll gate. There are some photos and more stories on our blog, jacarandafm.com. Click on news. See you again for the Tuesday edition.